Hi friends, today let's talk about the motherboards. What is a motherboard? A motherboard is the connecting link between all your components. Or you can say the motherboard holds all the components, all your PC components and it connects them. While choosing your motherboard, you first need to look at your motherboard's socket because that is where your processor will be fitted. And as I said in my previous uh, processor video, that a specific processor requires a specific socket or rather a generation of specific processors requires specific socket so you need to look that first while buying your motherboard now let's take a look at my motherboard box to understand it better this is my motherboard box and you can see it is written here AMD socket AM4 now definitely this is not the only thing that you will look for while buying a motherboard because different series of motherboards varies in different components definitely a higher end motherboard will have some better components let's talk about the other components that you need to look for to buy a motherboard while unboxing my motherboard This is my new motherboard Asus ROG Strix B350F Gaming. There are mainly three chipsets available for AM4 socket A320, B350 and X370. X370 is the top of the line chipset which can have all the bells and whistles possible for the AM4 socket. B350 on the other hand misses out dual PCI Express slots, couple of SATA expresses, couple of USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. A320 is a lower end one which also does not come with overclockability for the processor. For Intel, till today only Z370 chipset is available for their 8th generation processor which is again top of the line. Besides chipsets there are a few things to consider like form factor that determine the size of the motherboard, ATX, mini ATX or micro ATX. Here, manufacturers limit the capabilities of the chipsets in smaller form factors. Next are DIMM slots. These determine the maximum memory your PC can have. Also, you may need to check the sound capabilities of your motherboard and it varies from board to board. My motherboard have the latest S1220A codec Supreme FX sound for my 5.1 creative sound system. Now let's open the box and see the box contents. At first you see the motherboard in its anti-static cover. Let's take it out and uh, keep it aside. These are the box contents that you get. This is the rear IO shield. The first thing you need to place in your cabinet. Remember this. This also has some sponge in the back. These are SATA cables. This is the RGB extension cable, 18 cm. Some cable ties. The ROG coaster. ROG cable levels. Cable mods discount coupon. M.2 screw package and the quick start guide. This is a very necessary item. You need to keep this while installing the motherboard. Then the ROG Strix stickers. User manual with the supporting DVD. Though I recommend downloading the latest drivers and softwares from support websites
Now let's have a look at the motherboard out of the box. Try to hold this by the edges and keep it on the anti-static cover. The motherboard really looks nice and this is the Strix B350F gaming motherboard for you. After unboxing of the motherboard, let's take a look inside my cabinet how all the components are connected with the motherboard. This is the CPU cooler which is actually on top of the CPU that is in my case Ryzen 1600 which is connected to the socket AM4 now the CPU cooler or rather the fan of the CPU cooler is connected at the CPU fan header of the motherboard next uh, to connect the RAM you have some dim slots here To connect your drives, you have SATA ports here. To connect your graphics card, you have PCI Express 16 lanes, and these two are PCI Express 16 lanes, and one lane is occupied by this graphics card already. To connect your other cards like your sound card, wireless LAN card, you have PCI Express 4 or 8 slots. Here, next you have your VR I/O here, which actually connects to the output or input devices. Also, you have your front I/O panel. This is the front audio. These two for front USB 2 headers. If your case has one, this is for front USB 3. This is for your front power switch, reset switch etc this is the motherboard speaker what else you have your power connectors for your motherboard here and for your cpu here next you have the chassis fan connectors these two in the front and one in the back for this motherboard this motherboard also has a aio pump header here this is the air pump feeder. These are the basic connections that your motherboard will have. That any motherboard actually have. This motherboard has some special headers like already one I mentioned is the AIO pump header. Another thing is that this motherboard has an RGB connector here and here. This RGB connector is connected to this fan. This motherboard also has an M.2 SSD slot which is here and you can see this screw holes for mounting different lengths of M.2 SSDs last but not the least this is an ATX form factor motherboard so you need 9 screws to connect it to the cabinet which you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. If you buy a micro or mini ATX motherboard, the number of the screws will be less. That's it for the motherboard. These were some basic things that I wanted to tell you about the motherboard. And if you have any further more queries, please comment down below. I shall answer them. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Please keep that bell icon on so that you can get notified whenever my next video is out. Thank you for watching this channel. Bye. Please like this video. Please subscribe this channel.